Hello friends, I welcome you all to the video lecture of Evolve function. Evolve stands for Evaluate. So what the Evolve function will do, it will take a Python string and return the appropriate type. It may be an integer, it may be a float, it may be a string, it may be a complex number. It will take an, a Python string as an input and it will return the appropriate data type. It takes a string as a parameter and returns it as it is a Python expression. That means evolve function takes a string and returns in the type it is expected. An example is given here. For example, x equal to 2. I am passing y equal to evaluate of x double star 3. I am passing it here as a string. When I print it, this is an interactive mode. When I print it in the interactive mode, it returns the value 8. We will open the spider and we will go for a demo. Now we are going to see the demo of the evolve function. I am giving a value of x equal to 3. y equal to evolve of the expression I am giving x double star 3. Now I am printing the result y. This is given here. We will run the program and check the output. So here I am giving 3 x equal to 3. So 3 power 3 equal to 27. So I am giving x equal to 3. 3 power 3 equal to 27. So in this way an evolved function will take an any input as a string and it will return the appropriate type. For example here x value is 3. 3 power 3 is 27. 3 cube is 27. That is written here. So, for example, you can give like this x equal to evolve 1, 2, 3. So, 1, 2, 3, what is 1, 2, 3? It is a string as passed here. So, it is 1, 2, 3. When I print it in the interactive mode, I am getting 1, 2, 3 as an output. When I check the type, the type is a class integer. It converts the string into an appropriate data type integer. We will go for a demo. So, now I am having a equal to Evolve of in the double quotation 1, 2, 3. Okay. So print a equal to my a print type of a. Okay, we'll check the output check the output so what i'm giving a equal to 1 2 3 so i am printing a a i am checking i am again printing the type of a so what is what is i am giving i am giving 1 2 3 is a string string is given as a input see the value of a equal to 1 2 3 and the class is an integer, convert the string into integer. For example, I am giving 1 to 3.5. Okay, now I am changing the value to 1 to 3 into 1 to 3.5. Now I am going to rerun the program. We will check the output. Now again a value is converted into 123.5. Okay, and the type is float. So what I am giving, I am passing it as a string here okay initially 123 it is converted into an integer now 123.5 now it is a float data type okay I'm going to use how to apply the evolve with the the input function okay so input we know already input and enter a number is a statement it will display in the screen whatever user enters it will return as a string when i pass the input inside the evolve function 
what eval will do it will convert it into your appropriate data type string into your appropriate data type in the above statement user may enter a value which may be integer float string or complex by using eval python automatically determines the type of the value entered by the user okay now we are going for an interactive input x x equal to evolve of input of i am giving the data enter the number okay so what i am doing print x and print type of x i'm entering a number now 450 is the value i'm entering okay so 450 is an converted as an integer and, and data type yes an integer is shown here as i'm running the same program i'm entering 33.4 so 33.4 are i'm doing i mean it is a string okay i'm entering a number is a string okay input will take it as a string and eval will convert it into a float now 33.4 is converted into a float value and we will check the type the type is a float so in this way we are able to use the eval function with the input statement also that's it thanks for watching this video please subscribe to my channel share comment and press the bell button thank you